Zach Clough. He's still waiting for his first goal at Cooper Stadium. Scored just the once in Reds colours in the playoffs against Melbourne City last year. Halloran ghosting into the box, still going, Ben Halloran. And tees up Craig Goodwin, needed a second touch, fires it into the roof of the net. Brilliant stuff by the Reds. Ben Halloran, the architect. Craig Goodwin took his time, but found the top corner. Fifth of the season, Reds 1-0. Well, that's a way to light up Coopers before the lights have come on. It's questionable defending from victory on the Harvey Norman replay. It's not going to look very good for the men from Melbourne, but it looks fantastic for the Adelaide boys. It's a brilliant dribble from Ben Halloran. Great vision to find the Socceroo Craig Goodwin, who turns onto his less favoured right foot, and he smashes the ball into the roof of the net. Four players may as well have been witches' hats if you're a victory supporter. It doesn't help the confidence when such a commodity has been so lacking. Ibasuki, the Adelaide striker, of course, towers pretty much over every opponent against whom he plays. He can't say that against young Bozanowski, who is no slouch. Here's Broxham, worth a go. And that promises to be a good battle. Huh? Didn't promise or prove to be a great effort from Lee Broxham. But again, things just very tight for victory. Playing under so much pressure, the guys. Rolante, the chest of Smith. Loose ball breaks for D'Agostino. Ferried out wide for Chris Economides. Good spell of pressure by victory. Economides and Brimmer. Second time around, and Joe Gacci grabs it somehow. And play will stop for an injury now for Alexander Popovich. Victory are appealing for handball. Jake Brimmer leading that particular discussion. That's great from Economides. That's a beautiful jink. And then he does put it into the mixer. Well, there is an arm in play there. Mm. That's a great reaction, double reaction from Joe Gacci. Not sure that you can give that for handball, but that's what the claim is from victory. That is a big escape. Well, it's not been given. Still perhaps time for victory to go into the dressing rooms on level terms. Broxham, D'Agostino. Lifted into the box, here's Brillante! Well, he had to take it in that sweeping movement. First time, and he just couldn't hit the target. Well, it was a confident hit, which is its good to say. Couldn't have been that wide. There was a good run forward from Brillante. This is Clough. It's a player who promises plenty. I think fair to say, Simon, that Zach hasn't completely delivered on the promise yet. Rolanto might deliver on the promise of that intelligent ball over the top. And behind him is D'Agostino! Oh, that's a bullet! Wow! That was hit with total conviction from Nick D'Agostino, and it fairly tore into the back of the net. And we're all square. Brilliant goal. Well... This is trademark on the Harvey Norman replay from Josh Berlante. Great run out of midfield. And on the same week that shirt front sponsor, Bonza, launch their airline in Australia, Nick D'Agostino launches a rocket at Hindmarsh. There's no stopping that, not even from Joe Gauci. Here in Kunda, now Halloran. Goodwin at the top of the box. It's Iren Kunda. Oh, that's absolutely cleaned up by Marshall. Completely taken off his feet. No blame to Nestor Iren Kunda. He just could not get out of the way. 
and he's taken that full to the face. And Sean Evans has rightly stopped play. It's Volupale around the challenge of Alagic. And if they look the other way, Economides has a big chance. Oh! Goodness me, Leighton Brooks. What a chance to win it for victory, and he got right underneath it. And that is that, says Sean Evans. Disappointment for both sides. They both desperately wanted the three points tonight, but they both contributed to an excellent contest. And it ends all square. Adelaide United 1, Melbourne victory 1.